Father told me that I wasn't going to make it. Mama told me go find what I'm chasing. Said she love me, but I laugh at some crazy. Mama saw me, but I ain't seen them lately. Life for the pink, so I always stay faded. Shout out to Dark, give it all to my lady. Shout out to Pac, I'ma hit it like Grady. I hit my mark, I'ma toss it like Grady. So many balls, the sun getting shady. I'm made for I got the skin of a gator. Very bad, what I bring to the table. Blinky by me, I ain't living the safest. Shoot highway, hitting your neighbor. Red bean, put it right at your ninja. Cause my color, they be thinking I'm playful. Neck going, got an icy like glacier. Back bang, only seeing the fashion. Eyes on the back of my head. Run up, I'ma take your leg. We get it all up for the bread. We gon' run you for your bread. Always doing what I say. Most y'all rappers too scared. Cold blooded, I'm representing and breathing. Definitely level, they ain't fucking with me. It's your homie when we burning the trees. Rest in peace to the following we win. Yeah, I carry you with me. Life getting too risky. Dark look out your whiskey. Point pain, I don't feel it. Let loose in the ten speed. Count ten, twenties, fifties. Rubber band on the benches. Run it back, get the money. Y'all faking, you fake and you're really some haters. Roll up a blood before I saw my daddy. Back to back, I'm smoking my face. Racks and racks, so I'm counting my paper. Black and black when I'm whipping the safe. Never lack, I ain't living the safest. Father told me that I wasn't gonna make it. Mama told me to go find what I'm chasing. Sasha love me, but my life is too crazy. That's the music I resonate with. That's the type of music I resonate with. All right, it's Scooby's High Life here on High Life Interviews. We're here with my dog, Boski. Straight out of New York, rising star. Let's get straight to it. All right. Tell us about yourself. Where you from? Um, I'm from New York, born and raised. A uh, little small town called Dunkirk. Uh, if you ever been to Buffalo, uh, shout out to the city. We south of there, about an hour. Um, you know, we, it's, 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 it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I ain't gonna say too much about my city. I love my city, it made me, Thank you feel you, me? Bro. But um, I'm just I'm just like, as of myself, as an artist, I'm just trying to make it, bro. Like, really just like anybody else, but not like anybody else. I ain't trying to do it like everybody else, you feel me? Yeah, yeah, gotta be different. <laughs> I mean, um, this, who are your biggest artistic influences? Well, when I first started listening to music, bro, I'm not gonna lie, I would listen to Weezy all the time, bro. I love Lil Wayne. That's a go to me. But, um, my biggest influence really is the people I started making music with, um, which is my man P, my boy Beats, So the King, how you doing, bro? Shout out. Uh, and Sleazy. We just had a little crew and just like, it was a, it was like the former like the first start I really like how my music would sound. So like back then, you know, we was listening to Dirk. Like <laughs> Dirk is a big influence. We was listening to like Chicago Drill. You know, like party shit too, like club bangers and shit. Like you know, fucking you could think of like anybody really that's got like club bangers and shit. Well, I'd say like my biggest influences, I love Weezy. Metaphorical genius, bro. Like just on a different level, you know what I'm saying? Um, I did listen to Eminem when I was younger too. But like, you know, that's a typical, you know. Everybody's like, okay, he's white. He probably loves Eminem. Like, nah, bro. Like, I love Lil Wayne's my favorite artist by far. Um, Eminem don't really have an influence on me. I guess I could say I listen to him, enjoy his music. But right now, as of right now, as I'm like really forming. My music, I would say, you know, a lot of the drill artists out of New York, I love, you know, I love, I listen to Fabi a lot, I listen to Sleepy Chef, um, I listen to them new boys, Tata and fucking, and, and Jay and all them, you know what I'm saying, like, 41, them boys is fire, um, and, like, I also, cause, like, the drill is what I'm really on right now, like, love to study music, you know what I'm saying, love getting lit, getting mob and getting popping, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, the dance, all that, I love getting sturdy, all that. The lifestyle, all that, it's dope. Mm. So besides musically, what else, what else motivates you to create new music? In like life, personal, so Personally, you know? bro, like, you know, I was kicked out at a young age. So I just had like motivation. I just knew, I, I'm a person, I manifest a lot. I'm a person I know if I want it, I get it, you know what I'm 
I'm saying? And I like when music first with me started, like it was something I always wanted to do. I thought being a rapper was the dopest thing, you know what I'm saying? The bling, the fucking cars, <laughs> the women, all that shit, bro. Like everybody loves that shit. Um But nowadays it's more or less like you know, everybody's like about money getting a bag, like, yeah, it's about getting a bag, but it's more way more to music than just getting a bag, you know what I'm saying? I do this shit for me. I got my lady with me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I really I just want to have longevity. I would say that's really my biggest motivation is longevity and to inspire, bro. Even if it is like, you know, hey, I, everybody's got their own type of artist. I'm trying to be everybody's artist at the same time, but everybody's got their own type of artist. Yeah. But really my biggest motivation is, you know, to take care of myself, my lady, my, my future life, be stable, and really to inspire people that like anybody could do that shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, Anybody, anybody can step out there uh, outside their own comfort zone and really make life shake before they leave this earth. You feel me? Like that's really what it is. So that kind of brings me on to my next question: On what would you define success as an artist? Um, I think really everybody has. I would say everybody has their own definition of success. For me, it's like getting in the studio. Well, first, like, you know, finding the right beat, making that recording, and, like, really having the best, like, outcome that you see and that you think is successful. Like, that's really my, like, the work with that. And then everything comes after that, you know. Doing the video, the same thing, putting in the work to get that. Then from that video, getting results. And when you get them results, then you're like, all right, yeah. I just put in all that work. And to me, that's successful for myself. You know what like I'm saying? A finished product. A like finished like product really is really success to me, because you know there's le- there's a lot of levels to it, bro. Like as far as succession, like you can be successful doing that and then keep as, and elevate as you're doing that. Keep doing that, and when that works, like, and you finally see the results, you know, after that succession, now you got even more success coming to you, and you know what I'm saying? You're living blessed. You. You're living blessed, you know, you're getting your new house, you're getting your new crib, uh, uh, your new whip, and you're getting, you're taking care of your family, you're starting a family, like, and then all your music does that for you. To me, that's, like, the biggest success. Success. Is to be able to, like, be, like I said, be stable. So From my career, make this a career. To really push this forward and make this a career, and be that would be my success. The finished product of making this a final career, to where I can finally step over that line and say, I made it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's like, yeah, I made it, I made it, I made it. But like, nah, made it, I made it. You know what I'm saying? It's a dead, like, I don't know if you can understand that aspect. I guess everybody puts it in their own perspective. Yeah, but so that, like, like, that's the aspect I'm... I'm so in, in what way would you say that goal line is for you, for your work? Okay, you, so, it's a, you so everybody's like, oh, a million views, a million this, a million that. Okay, so like, yeah, okay, it's a race to the million. Everybody's on a race to the million. The views, the money, the fucking everything. The million followers, like, everybody wants that, bro. But like, I don't really think it's that. I think it's more or less, like I said, just the fucking stability to be able to do that. Yeah, I like that 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 idea of longevity. Longevity is right. Mm-hmm. Like I want to be able, like to be able to inspire even when I'm gone, bro. Like, if I leave tomorrow, if I leave this planet tomorrow, you know what I'm saying? So you know what I'm saying? So like, I guess when you say the line, bro, because like I said, everybody wants that million and shit, million and shit. Like like I said, it's stability. When I know myself, I'm stable enough. I don't care, I'm not talking five houses and 10 cars and this and that, just knowing like, I never gotta worry again. Mm, That uh, financial freedom. It is financial, but it's like life freedom, bro. Mm, Okay. Okay, so like, like to just drop everything, just be like, yo, let's go go do this. Like, nobody's gonna tell me no, you feel me? I don't live a life with limitations. I hate limitations, because I don't see limitations. Guys Even after we pass this life, you feel me? I don't see limitations. <laughs> That's why like transcending the a sense of time. Transcending the time. Mm-hmm. Alright, so uh how has your style changed over time? Okay, so like I said, 
We was listening to a lot of like Chicago drill, so I was really on like trap drill vibes for a while. Then once I listened, I learned how to use my voice. <coughs> Excuse me. I learned how to use my voice and sing a little bit more. And, you know, put patterns together and hit pockets and put words where they belong and verses where they belong and rhymes and bars and all that. I think my flow, not like I found it, like, I just said, but it's from multiple angles. Yeah. You feel me? So it's like from all the mirrors doing different shit. So I started with the drill shit. And I started with, you know, getting the melodic shit. You know, now, now, now I'm, I was, I fucking you know, mix of both. And now I got into like the you know, New York uh, style with the drill shit. So it's like, it's a mix of really everything. Cause like when I, with this drill shit, bro, I don't think I do it. The same as everybody else. You feel me? I think I do it a little bit different because I like, I, I I feed off of other people's energy and shit from that shit. When I'm listening to music, I'm like, yeah, okay, yeah. Not this is how I should sound, but like this is like the attitude, the presence, the fucking everything I should put behind the mic. How these not the how these are, not how they're right acting, out. how they really are living that behind that mic. You feel me? Like I'm not gonna sit there and talk about something I ain't doing. You know what I'm saying? And like, so I guess it's it's a matter of. All together, like every single angle, my flows changed a lot, bro. From drill to trap to melodic shit to fucking, you know, New York drill, because it's way different than Chirac shit, you know what I'm saying? Chicago. Yeah. So, like, I guess, I guess it's pretty much, yeah, like I said, every angle. I try to be diverse and be able to, because I, I feel like I could even do a country song type shit, bro. Like, and nowadays, variety is important. Right, it's important. Yeah. yeah, if you could pop off on a country song, you know what I mean. Get on charts with a country song. That's what comes back to that. Rap. Like, I want to. Everybody has an artist that they love. I want to be everybody's artist. So that's why I say I love the diversity because I can have the trap shit, I can have the drill shit, I can have the melodic shit. And everybody relates with some way, shape, or form, but still all love all of it at the same time. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And there's not like, because I even got that shit where like. You know, I was doing like the boom pat beats, like the 90s style type shit, bro. Like, you know, I did that interview with um, boys on what you call it there. What was that podcast, Jay? What was the podcast with Los and Hoff? Uh, bar work. Bar work. Mm -hmm. See, and, like, if you listen to that, I got like the 90s flow on that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a little bit slower up, punch lines. You know what I'm saying? You're here to listen to what I say. So I can do shit like that too. I love music like that. But like, yeah, yeah. I say I say it's just diverse. It's for right. So, do you have a network of other artists? And if so, how do they support you? Okay, so I have a huge, especially network. in a town <laughs> like Dunkirk. I have a huge network. I see. I got lucky, bro. I went to college for a year. You know, I'm dropping out or whatever. But I went to college, and I met some real dope souls. Like. <laughs> Shout out King B, shout out Prince, shout out Sleazy. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Grady. <laughs> Those are my boys. Shout out, you know, shout out Xavier. That's who, you know, repping Dunker too with me. That's my little brother. Um, you know, and I got a bunch of other artists. Shout out, you know, Jay Faze on music. That's my man's. I will always support you, bro, so we'll fall off. You know that. And um, as far as supporting me, they're there, bro. You know what I'm saying? They're there, they're, they're present, they're supporting my shit, they're sharing my stuff on the social media, looking out for me, giving me advice, giving me whatever uh, feedback they can, if they don't like this, they like that. Um, my man's Beats is probably like, who I'm low key been working with the most. Um, just because we have the, we have a, you know, he's one of them I started with, he put me on a microphone type shit. Like if I would, if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be, I, it's not that I wasn't, I wouldn't be doing this, but I wouldn't be doing it like this as hard as I go, as serious as I am. Cause he made me see the vision. Okay. So shout out King for that. Um, but yeah, I got a network of everybody from from here, Colorado, Cali, Chicago, Florida, Carolinas, up to all the way up to Maine. <laughs> um, I got a, I know a few artists in Texas that I haven't done work with in a while, but <laughs> I know them. Um, <clears throat> but you know, like I said, they're out sharing my stuff all the time. King's really who I'm working with the most, who's pushing us out west. He's gonna take over the West, I'm gonna take over the East here. And uh, we're really just gonna go from that. And that's, we just network each other and 
help each other out. If I got if I got their back, they got mine. You know what I'm saying? Uh, how, how important would you say that type of networking in in this day and age? You know, especially with social media. Well, it's, well, it's huge with the technology thing. Everybody's on technology all the way, like little kids and technology with TikTok and all that, and all, whatever bullshit, bro. Excuse my French. I'm raw. I ain't gonna. I'm gonna curse. Um. So. With the social media is huge, bro, because you got a market and social media does help target your market. Like it helps you target who you want your music to see on um, any platform, really. Facebook, you know, Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, you know, YouTube is a platform now where they're doing like the reels and stuff like that. So people are on YouTube doing shorts and all that. And so it's like, it's just a matter of getting your boys to get behind that and getting your other artists to like see the vision with you and put in their work as well because you know nothing's handed to nobody bro i'm not a silver spoon person i'm not i didn't grow up like that you know what i'm saying so i earned everything i got and i just try to put everybody else on blueprints that will help them so like i said if they got my back i got theirs so if there's with social media if there if i got somebody in colorado like i said shout out king Colorado pushing my shit out west. I got somebody in Florida pushing my shit, which is one of my big bros, you know what I'm saying? I got somebody in Carolinas pushing my stuff. I got Chicago pushing my stuff. I got Maine pushing my stuff. And then I'm in New York myself with my local and this and that. And I got ties all the way out to Italy too, bro. Like through artist connections, just randomly talking like I wanted it. So I went out and got it when I pushed and I, and I found artists that would you know, if I was to go to Italy right now, they'd probably show me the, the you know, the real Italy. You know what I'm saying? The real, the real Goombas, you know what I'm saying? Real, <laughs> real shit, bro. Real, street, real streets, like, you know what I'm saying? Out there getting it. And, like, places you can't go, places, like, other people can't go, like, that wouldn't get that type of permission. Like, I don't like to gas myself up, bro. Just, like, I know people. And I got connections everywhere, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, like I said, if I'm getting my shit overseas, too, in the UK and Italy and freaking ireland i don't give a fuck spain bro like all the way to down in fucking central america south america like i want it all even if it's one person here one person there that could make a difference and then when i go and i push my music i push in those areas around those same people that are seen you know what i'm saying like so that networking is huge it's huge it's huge it's huge a lot of artists think okay i need the local i need everybody in local to love me no don't be local think global bro i'm not a local artist i love being a local artist I loved it. I was that for a long time. I'm 10 years deep in this. But global is what you need to think because global is where you're gonna get the sound of people that are strangers that don't know you. You know what I'm saying? That are gonna judge you by your music. Like I said, I wouldn't put nothing behind a mic that I'm not living. You mm -hmm. feel me? So like, when they hear me, they're gonna judge me off that. And that's the authentic person, the raw person they're gonna get is me behind that microphone. And that's what I'm trying to spread, bro. Like everybody's got their own message and voice and this and that, but like really, that's what I'm trying to spread, bro. You know, like. So, uh, what kind of factors would influence the price of your work? So, like, right now, I'm obviously, you know, I should charge, bro. Like I said, I'm ten years deep. I'm not no rookie. I'm a vet from what the work I've put in and the straps I've earned. But price-wise, I wouldn't like put a price on everything like yeah there is a price on everything but i would have paid a price on my work bro like my shit's priceless my it speaks for itself if someone wanted to work with me say i got a local artist or someone from a different country like i said different state this or that they want to work with me i would tell them put their own bag up with me i ain't gonna be like yo i won't charge you when i get to that status like i said when i cross that line by all means bro this is price gonna be up there <laughs> i may be new you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna charge 500K, right? Do I think I'm worth that? Like I said, I think I'm priceless, bro. I don't think I'm worth a million. I think I'm worth more than that and beyond, like. So, when it comes to working with me, just have your own bag ready. Because if you have a bag ready and you're willing to work, I will work with a serious artist. Anybody, like, I, I got this, I got this little tape coming up. I'm putting a little tape together, you know what I'm saying? And I got local artists on there. And I want that because I want them they have something they can spread around shit too and yeah, something they can fuck with and like okay yeah we work hard on this but if they want to go out there with and be like all right let's do a video get that bag ready bro put a bag up with me all right put a bag up with me don't up, don't compare a bag 
Put a bag up with me. Hit up Jay Fazo. Hit, hit up, up my, Jay hit up my boy. Shout out Jay Fazo for the Shout interview. Shout out Jay for the interview. But my boy Mike Santangelo, killer behind the camera, bro. This dude is he's doing some crazy shit right now. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, put a bag up with me. Don't compare a bag and be like, oh, I shouldn't charge. Like I should charge. I should charge. And I have. And I thought back. Put the bag up with me. You know, if I charge you two fifty, that two fifty ain't going in my pocket. That 250 going towards what we're gonna promote the song oh, and push oh, the song around. Yeah. Cause you, bro, you can't drop a song without putting money in it. You ain't gonna just drop a song, oh, 100 views, I'm gonna blow the fuck up, someone's gonna find this. No, motherfucker, you gotta put money in that song to put that song in front of other people to hear that. Actually, kind of trash. I don't care. If people don't understand this, this takes my whole life, bro. Like, this, it, it, this takes my whole life doing this. So it's like, this takes everything I got in my pocket to do this too, like. <laughs> kind of brings me how I'm in the negatives, bro. I'm telling you, if I'm in the negatives, okay? When I tell you I'm in the negatives, that's a real thing, bro. Cause I put everything into this. Not expecting you to get anything back. Just expecting the world to fuck with me, bro. I just want everybody to fuck with me. Listen. I just want now, everybody to listen. I wanted to know how, how do you manage a work-life balance as an artist? You want to get, so for a while, bro, you know, like I had all the time in the world because um, I wasn't working for a while. You know what I'm what saying? What I mean work life though, I mean work as in music work. In a normal life? Yeah. How, you know what I mean? Well, that's what I'm getting to. That? So like, that's what I'm getting to. So like my normal life was sitting around making music for the longest, bro. That was my life okay. for the longest. But, you know, I've had a little transition. Life happens different relationships and you you know you lose people you gain people and um now it's like you know you make the time bro so like when i come to the studio i come ready i come correct i got my songs ready i got my beats ready i get in here i work with jay or I work with my boy lex on jamestown or whatever studio i'm going to i'm ready i've rehearsed a little bit of my music this and that i do it through the week i write a little bit through the week and if i only get one day out of the studio I'll, you know once a week or every other week or two two nights throughout a week and then i wait a while like it's the pattern of how my music goes you know what i'm saying a lot of people are making music making like you seen me earlier we're, we're, you know i was previewing a little bit of my shit and you're like yo you got all this i got more than that dog <laughs> i got bro i got music from a catalog. few years ago and i'm sitting on a catalog that like i just there's a whole era of music that i got that people would probably never hear uh, and it's like I hate that I was never able to drop it, but like I said, you lose people, you gain people. Good happens, bad happens. Like it weighs itself out with life. So like normal life right now too, you know. Right now I'm working, you know, I'm working at nine to five, bro. Like, and but that cheddar I get goes back into my music. I'm a humble guy. I sit here and tell you I'm working, bro. You know what I'm saying? I used to be trapping. Shit, you, you know what I'm saying? You, you gotta get it how you get it. Get it how you live. Whatever your situation is, take it. Take, take. I, you know, take advantage of that. I ain't gonna sit here and talk down on nobody that works a nine to five. But that nine to five ain't forever. You feel me? That's my. That's everybody's like, oh wait, well, I gotta save my life with this and this and that. Like, nah, bro. Look at look at the outcome you could have at the end of that instead of looking at it being a bad thing. Like, bro, to make it positive. So much shit perform. Make it positive, so much shit before. That's all. You getting cheddar, yeah. Put your work in, but like, okay, if you're doing work, make the work. Make you like the like, like the work, bro. Make it like the work. You don't like the work, find something different. There are jobs everywhere. You can do anything. You find any lane, and who knows who you meet, bro, and who you, who who's gonna like. You might even meet some people that you work with, like you never even met before. A stranger showing me music. They might share it to whoever, you know. Um, be grateful and just and work hard, bro. Like. And yeah, that's that's real. That's really how it is with the life and music. Is like, you know, I'm humble to still have a normal life, but I'm grateful to be able to do what I love, which is music. So like the balance that's tough, because like I said, relationships and normal life like does hit you, bro. Like especially when you ain't no artist that's making millions yet. Like you really do got to put in the extra work, and it's still, like I said, I'm ten years deep. I ain't this ain't no this ain't no rookie shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? This is shit I've been doing for a long time. Long time. That's good. So before we end it off, um, 
You got anything new you about to drop? Any anything coming out? Any? So, I do have a tape. I'm working on a tape right now. Uh, What's the name? You got a name for it? Yeah, yeah. I'm finna call it Starting Music, bro. Hashtag Starting Music. Hashtag Starting Music. You feel music. me? So you heard that here first. You that's all for the for the New Yorkers. That's all for the New Yorkers. I want to get it popping this summer, as popping as I can get it. I want y'all slamming my music. I got a lot of local artists, bro. It's Jay gonna hop on there. I got fucking. I got X too much. I'm gonna have the Shotter Boys. You feel me? I'm gonna have Jay Mizai. I'm gonna have King Rob. That's my mom. OG King. How you doing, bro? You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be a good tape. A lot of diversification. It's all drill beats, bro. All Jersey style drill beats and New York style drill beats. The new wave. And like I said, it's perfect for the summer. Let's get started and get lit. You feel me? That's what I'm trying to do, bro. That's all what right. I'm at right now. And then right. after that, I, right now, I have a little bit planned after that. We'll make a few moves. Might end up out of New York. I heard you got a show coming up. I do have a show. That's June 3rd. Shout out to the Strata Boys for putting that together. It's local. It's in Dunkirk. Y'all come. Last show we had, Jay, what you say? Maybe like 100 people plus? 100 plus people there? Yeah. Bar open. We'll be getting lit. I'm going to be getting sturdy on stage this time. Um, and it's going to be dope, bro. I'll be performing all new music by then. We got a couple months. It's March now. So, like I said, we got a couple months. We'll be dropping sturdy. Hashtag sturdy music here soon. Um, look out for that. Um, that's what I'm saying, y'all. So, yeah, we had the head now. That's a wrap. Alright. Yeah. Let's 